welcome back. We are on our way to our final destination of today. It is 34 degrees, believe it or not, here. That is sweltering by any means. Uh, we've got a pair of fronts on a very, very old thoroughbred. Very, very rubbish feet. But first, traffic. Well, we made it, we're here. Let me start by introducing you to the horses, the thoroughbred being Star and the cob being Raz. All right, people, yes, I've got no shirt on, but it is 34 degrees, so you gotta let me off. Right, this is Star. She is nearly 30 years old, and for a thoroughbred, that is really, really good going. Let's have a look at Raz. The cob, I reckon he should be called Bob though. Very straightforward, just a trim, easy peasy. The trouble I have is with Star. She's an old girl, she doesn't produce any foot, and every time I come, it's just nailing back into the old nail holes. But she keeps them on, it's not too bad. She's sound, as much as she can be anyway. Right, less of me, let's get the tools out and start cracking on. Oh no. He forgot to put the nails away. Great start, what an absolute sausage. Oh, Raz, let's have a look. Super, super dry, hard tootsies. And loads of stones stuck in the white line, never good. You don't want that. Could get a bit of seedy toe or white line disease or even an abscess so let's pick them out tidy up the frogs let's put it on the foot stand I can see she's been moisturising so I won't tell off we just want to Give these a little flick over. Give it a nice little Mustang roll to prevent any chips. And then we'll move on. Go on, Raz, have a look. Ooh. I'm just gonna run around the edge, cutting off the excess at a 45 degree. This will help prevent any further chips within the next six weeks. God, these feet are hard. Run our rasp. Around so there's no sharp edges. Check our balance, which is good. There you go, mate. Cool. Raz is all done. Let's head over to Star. We need to be careful. As I said, she's an old girl and she is squitting. Yeah? So I do not want to get squitted on. So let's be careful around that back end. And for those who don't believe me, there is the evidence. <laughs> anyway, let's crack on. Very shelly feet. Not the clenches up. We've got flies galore buzzing around my ear roll. I reckon I'm gonna get whipped by the towel because she's got super, super thin skin. Oosh. Good girl. Yeah, whip that off. Bosh. As I said, I don't think there'll be much foot to come off. There never really is. And I'm about right in thinking that again. Spruce up the frogs. 
don't want to take nothing off the soles, nothing to take off. That is uh, all for protection. God, this hoof's slippery. I'll just give me a little, a little scratch over, shall we? And that is all we need to do. You don't want to be a hero with this sort of foot. We just want a nice safe job and the shoe to securely stay on there for the next six weeks. I'm gonna dress this wall up. It's holding on for dear life. No good to anybody. But it's not too bad. Okay, the shoe has been in the fire for about five minutes, so it should be nice and toasty. She's having them back on today because she doesn't actually do much work, so there's no need to put new ones on every time. So I'm just gonna give them a little clean up, level up, put them in a carrying pitchel, and head back over and give them a little singe on. Check the level. Not level. Don't want an unlevel shoe. Bosh. There we go. Look at him. Nice even burn. Shoe is all boxed off now. Let's head on back over and get them pinned on. Oh, I'll just, I'll just have a look. All right, let's move any sole pressure. I don't want no sole pressure. Grab our shoe, grab some nails. There we go. Good girl stuff. I'm going to stick six nails in purely because she's just got very weak shelly feet and I don't want them want her to lose a shoe that would be a nightmare. There we have it, shoes are on. All that's left to do now is clench down and put a little bit of hoof oil on. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. First things first, chop the top of the nail head off. Rasp, give them a nice little underline, removing the hoof that is situated beneath the nail. And then we're just gonna fold them back over and push them flush back into the wall. Same again on the other side. Nice little underline. Fold and then push back in. Fold and then push back in. Fold and then push back in. Mm -hmm. okay. We don't want any sharp edges for the owner's sake and for Star's sake. So she's got wafer thin skin, and once again, just like an old person, 
It'll take ages to heal. Nice little underline. All right, girl. And then we're done. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, as always, to like, share, and subscribe. Comment, let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you on the next one. Much love. Goodbye.